Greetings class, this is Dr. York Hammonds. I'm doing a short video on how to find the mean, median, and mode uh, measures of central tendency for a data. I'm looking at exercise 7 at the end of uh, chapter 12, section 2. If you click on the icon and open in Excel and then open the file, uh, you will get an Excel file I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can see it a little better. There's the data. Now you see this yellow bar. We must click Enable Editing in order to find the mean, the median, and the mode. So when you're uh, working these, to, uh, please be sure to type in the value that you're finding. For example, the mean. Then in the next box, we have to type in the equal sign to do the calculation. If I type ME, it goes straight to median. So I can't do ME for mean. The Excel command is average, A-V-E. Then you have to double click average, click your column, and press enter. So the mean for this data is 129. Then if I want to find the median, I click in the next cell over, type the equal sign, and this time when I do ME, I do want the median, and I want it for column A, and I press enter, and it says the median is 128. Now if I click mode, if I want to find the mode, just a single mode, I click equal, type MO, and you see that there's multiple mode or single mode. I'm going to try the single mode for the data and enter, and it says the mode is also 128, but it's possible that there could be more than one mode. So then I need to do a multiple mode. I need to uh, check and see if I have multiple modes. Now I'm going to move H over a little bit. I'm going to enlarge it so that the whole word multiple mode fits. Now if you have multiple modes, you need to select a sequence of cells. So I'm going to click and drag and select several cells. Now I'm not going to click again. Do not click again. Just immediately type the equal sign and you'll notice that all of your cells are still shaded. Start typing M and O, and this time I want multiple mode. I still want the data from column A, but I'm going to hit Shift and Zero to close off those parentheses. And the important part here is that you don't just press Enter. You hold down the Control key, the Shift key, and then the Enter key, and you will notice that I have, I really do have two modes. The two modes are 128 and 123. So if this was in your homework assignment uh, that we were looking at, I'm going to go back uh, to your homework assignment, and I'm going to move that over just a little bit. The first thing it asked for was the mean, 129. So I'm going to check that. It says, great, nice work. Then it wanted the median, which we found to be 128. So I'm going to check that answer. It says, good job. Now it wants to find the modes. Now, when we started, we found a single mode, but I thought, well, we better check and make sure that there might be multiple modes, and there were, so we have to use the multiple modes. The two modes were 128, and then you have to use a comma, excuse me, a comma to separate the answers, 123. So let's check and see if that answer is correct. And there you go. We have multiple modes, and our question is complete and correct. I hope this helps you find mul uh, measures of central tendency, including multiple modes.